What's up everyone, Technic here. So this video is going to be all about VitaShell. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get started with this video. So first off, I got to talk about the home menu. If you're not seeing this screen on your VitaShell, you might need to press the back button. But this is the home menu of VitaShell. It's going to show a whole bunch of directories, but the only directories that you really need to worry about are the UX0, which is your main storage, and the UR0, which is the storage for all your plugins and everything. Now, I'm going to get into all those in a second, but as far as the UMA0 goes, that folder is actually not created until you install an SD to Vita inside of your PS Vita. However, the first one that I'm going to talk about is the UX0. The first one that I'm going to talk about is the second most important folder inside of VitaShell, which is the UX0. The UX0 is also going to be the folder that pops up when you initially press the select button and put your PS Vita into USB mode or FTP mode. And I'll get to that in a second actually. But the UX0 is going to have all of the storage that you put on your PS Vita as far as the applications go, as far as if you want to put music on your PS Vita, as far as if you want to put games on there, as far as you want to put homebrews on there. All of that is actually going to appear inside of your UX0. Now the UX0 is the main partition. So if you set up an SD to Vita and change it into the main partition or the main storage, your SD to Vita is no longer going to be the UMA0, it's going to turn into the UX0, if that makes sense. So the UX0 is going to be the main storage partition. That's what's going to show up when you go to settings and check out the storage settings. The storage settings is going to show the UX0's storage. Now the second folder I'm going to talk about, which is also the most important folder inside of Vita Shell, this is going to be the UR0. The reason why this is the most important folder inside of VitaShell is because your PS Vita's custom firmware applications or anything would not be working if it wasn't for this folder. UR0 is home for every single plugin that is installed on your PS Vita, including the custom firmware. And the TIE folder, which I'm about to go into, is the most important folder inside of UR0. UR0 has every single plugin that you can think of. As you can see, it says Henkaku SKPRX and Henkaku SUPRX. That is your custom firmware. And your custom firmware is inside of this folder. It's what's making it work right now. But the specific thing that is making all these plugins work is something called the config.txt. Now all the old school PS Vita modders like me know about the config.txt because this is actually where all of your plugins are coded into. I'm going to open up the config.txt folder. As you can see, you're going to see a few things in here, but I don't need to tell you this, and honestly, nobody else needs to tell you this, but you definitely should not be messing with this folder, especially the config.txt if you do not know what you're doing. Messing with any of this and not knowing what you're doing can result in your PS Vita's custom firmware not working at all. Or worse, it could it could potentially do other very bad things. So uh, you're hearing it from me right now. Please just do me a favor and do not mess with the UR0 at all if you do not know what you're doing. Uh, nine times out of ten, you actually won't need to go into this folder. I'm just kind of showing you this just so you can see the history of it because this config.txt file itself you actually had to write code inside of it yourself to make things work and that was back then. Now it's done for you and I'm very happy for that because it just makes things easier for people that are just getting into PS Vita modding. So uh, the gist of it is the UR0 is the most important folder inside of Vita Shell and probably the most important folder for your PS Vita but at the same time it's also something that you do not want to mess with. That sums up the UR0. Now, as far as the UMA0 goes, the UMA0 isn't created until you do the steps to set up your SD to Vita. If you don't know what an SD to Vita is or how to set it up, I actually have a video uh, for that and I will actually link it into the description of this video just in case you're curious about it. But the UMA0 is always going to be your secondary storage. So if you wanted to store any like music files or anything uh, and you don't want to really clock up the uh, UX0, which is uh, kind of impossible because 
in my main PS Vita, I actually have a 200 gigabyte uh, micro SD card inside of my SD to Vita, and I never run out of storage really. Um, two, I'm fine with 200 gigabytes, and honestly, people have gone higher than that. But the UMA0 is just going to be your secondary storage, so you can just have stored files in the background of your PS Vita if you don't want to mess or have it clogged up for your UX0. So the UMA0, to sum it up, is the secondary storage. This next menu that I want to get into is called the triangle button menu. Now from the home menu of the PS Vita, it's going to look a little bit different. You're going to see some options like refresh live area. If you don't know what refresh live area is, the live area is actually the home menu of your PS Vita. So for whatever reason, if you wanted to refresh your live area, just press that button and it will refresh all of the items on your live area. So if you don't didn't know what a live area was, this is your live area right here. It's all of the uh, files on your, or all of the applications on your PS Vita's home menu. Now, going back into the menu, you're going to see a few other options. Um, as far as the other options go, like refresh license database and all of the other items, you can also unmount your SD to Vita, which I don't recommend, by the way. Um, usually, you're not really going to mess with any of these options other than refresh live area. Um, sometimes it's good to refresh your live area, but most of the time, it's only uh, for a different option like downloading items from the PC and then putting them on your PS Vita that way. However, if you were to go into one of the directories, your triangle menu will actually change into a different function altogether. And if you were to do the triangle menu from the very top, which is like the base of all, all the items inside the folder, it's not really going to show much. However, this changes when you go onto a file or folder. As you can see, when you press the triangle button and go to the menu, you can also mark all of the files inside of the folder. You can move, have the option to move one of the files, which is the file that you select, by the way. So whichever file that is selected, that's going to be the uh, action that's going to take, except the mark all. Mark all is just going to uh, select all the files inside of the folder. But you can move the file, you can copy, you can delete, you can rename the file if you want to. You can check its properties, you can create a new file, folder, or bookmark inside of the directory of your choosing, and you can also do what's called a ad hoc transfer. If you don't know what ad hoc is, uh, for everybody that's played a PSP, um, it's very familiar. Ad hoc means uh, device to device, uh, either connection or transfer, so you can actually do a device to device um, file transfer if you wanted to. So this is without using uh, FTP client or server or anything like that. So as you can see, it says ad hoc send or receive. So you can basically send from device to device uh, files of choosing. Um, I've tried it before. It's uh, it's fairly uh, has a fairly decent speed to it, but it all depends on the size of file that you're transferring. But that's the gist of the triangle menu. And as you can see, I'm kind of just uh, creating a new folder. Um, somebody uh, in, in the comments of my previous video asked me, uh, how do you create a new folder for your ROMs? Um, I just showed you how to do it right now. So you would just press the triangle, uh, triangle menu button and create or scroll down, create new, and then you can create a new folder for your ROMs. Now this next menu button is going to be for the start button. So the start menu is going to also be called your main settings menu. As you can see, there are a few things that pop up when you initially press the start button. So you're going to see theme, which you can actually change the theme of Vita Shell. Um, there's only two themes that are initially installed onto your Vita Shell. However, you can actually find more themes. And if anybody wants me to link a theme pack and show you how to actually install themes on Vita Shell, I would be happy to do that because on my main PS Vita, I have about 13 themes on there right now. And they look pretty cool. But as you can see, the second option is called USB device. Um, please do me a favor and uh, do not mess with this much unless you kind of know what you're doing, but USB device, there's going to be a few options for it. The main one that you want to worry about is not, nothing else but the original selection that was on in the first place, um, which is your memory card. 
So you can change it to the SD DaVita if you want to, but however, if your SD DaVita is set up to your main, uh, main directory, then it's going to be your memory card. So as far as having a PlayStation TV or PlayStation Vita TV like I have, um, as you can see, the third option is the select button and you can change this to USB or FTP. Um, if you don't know what FTP is, it stands for File Transfer Protocol, which you can basically go into a server and transfer your files like that. So uh, as far as having a PlayStation TV or PlayStation Vita TV, it doesn't matter if you select, uh, and I'm a restarting Vita show so you can see the theme I selected by the way, but as far as the uh, transfer goes, uh, it doesn't matter if you choose USB or FTP on a PlayStation Vita or PlayStation TV, it's always going to be FTP. Um, I tested it myself and I'll even show you in this video. But um, as far as the Vita Shell themes go, as you can see, it can completely change the look of everything. Um, as far as the other options on the start, start menu or the main settings menu, you don't really need to mess with too much. And as you can see, I even pressed the select button, which I'm also going to get to right now. So as you can see, there's other options uh, with the start button menu, but honestly, the only ones you're going to mess with are the top four. Um, and the last thing that I do want to talk about, which is uh, one of the most important things to do on Vita Show is the select button. So uh, if you were to press the select button in Vita Show, you're going to either put it into USB mode or FTP mode, uh, depending on what you selected on the start menu. So as you can see, uh, mine was at, set to F FTP, but it honestly doesn't matter because I'm on a PlayStation TV. Um, so whether I put it on FTP or USB, it's going to pop up with the FTP server anyway. And if anyone is curious about using an FTP server or what it is, that's actually going to be the next video. So, or not the next video, but uh, the following videos after the three that I'm about to release today. So, as far as anything else goes with Vita Show, I've pretty much taught you everything that you need to do. Um, if you see any of the other directories in here, um, I'm not going to talk about because honestly, I'm not going to say they're they're not important but at the same time I'm going to say that do not mess with any other directory so the main directory that you really want to mess with or that you're really going to do things on is going to be the UX0. The UX0 is just your main storage it's where you're going to put any VPK files that you find it's, any, it's going to put you're going to put any uh, homebrew applications on there you're going to put any music files that you find um, any of that stuff is going to go inside of the UX0. Any other directory you're not really going to mess with unless you're messing with your uh, secondary storage, which is your UMA0. Um, at the same time, the UR0 is there, but again, do not mess with it if you don't know what you're doing. It's the most important folder inside of each shell, if not the most important firmware or most important file and folder inside of your custom firmware PS Vita. Messing with that folder will 100% result in your custom firmware not working correctly anyway and uh, possibly your PSV to not working correctly either. So that's a folder that you don't want to mess with. The UX0 is okay to mess with. You can create new folders in there and you can do whatever you need to in there. Um, I tried to make this video as uh, quick as I could but at the same time Vita Shell itself kind of is a, a little complicated but um, once you kind of uh, mess around with Vita Shell enough, it kind of becomes second nature to you. And as I explained before, the uh, start menu, you really don't need to mess with anything. And I said the first four options, honestly, you just need to worry about the first three options, which is your theme, USB device, and your select button, which what your select button is going to do in Vita Shell. Um, and you can also restart Vita Shell after you like change a theme or do something else on your Vita Shell if you wanted to re refresh it really quick. You can also reboot your device from here. You can also power off your device from here. And you can also put your device in standby mode as well. So all of those functions down there do work by the way. You, it will absolutely reboot your device or anything you need it to do. But other than that, that's going to be all I need to talk about about Vita Shell. Um, again, I tried not to make this video as as or I tried to make this video as quick as possible, but I needed to talk about a lot of things when it comes to Vita Shell. So, if 
you're ever wondering um, how to do anything with Vita Show or what Vita Show actually was, um, this is this was it. So this is Technic. Thank y'all for watching this video. Um, today is going to be a double upload, and there's going to be another video following this video if you want to check it out. So this is Technic. Thank y'all for watching, and I'll see y'all in the next video.